What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're taking a look at an error that comes up when you go to install a, a program. This one is Origin but you can get this from the Heaven Benchmark or a bunch of other programs or games that you're trying to install. So we're going to be fixing these uh, two DLL files are missing as you can see here. So the first thing you want to do is download all the .NET frameworks that you possibly can and install them. Sometimes these are missing and when they're missing you'll get those error messages popping up on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and install all of these on this computer. Now you may be noticing that I am remoted in here and doing a remote repair job so it shouldn't take too long to fix this problem. But I just want to make sure we cover all the uh, bases here and make sure we've got everything installed that we should have. So Microsoft will have a website where you can download all of these and I'll leave the link in the video description for you. Now maybe this will solve your problem and maybe it won't. If it doesn't I'll show you some other things that you can try and also I'll show you how to replace the files and I'll leave a link for those to be downloaded in the video description as well. So just in case you want to skip to that it will be at the end of the video. Now these do take a bit of time to get installed so I'm just going to quickly download and install these by just clicking on them and eventually what will happen is they will open up and sometimes they need to download the files from Microsoft themselves. So just hit the download and install and you'll see it will start to download the files that it needs off of Microsoft servers and then it will go ahead and install these. Now some older games or even some benchmark software needs this installed for it to work correctly. Without having these installed you will get error codes and things like that. So it's always best to keep these updated and installed on the system and I normally put all of these on when I do a fresh install on a Windows 10 machine or any other Windows machine. Okay so that's going to go ahead and install that and it's now done. So next up what I'm going to do here is download another one of these and uh, get this installed on the system as well. Now these are as you can see Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistribution package and you've got x86 and you've got 64-bit. Now some of these might be installed and if it is it will just show up and say it's already installed. I'm going to make sure I do this one as well which is uh, another type of one which I want to do and you can see this one is already installed on the system. If it says repair then you know it's already installed so you can avoid that one. Now also installing the latest graphics drivers or even reinstalling the graphics drivers can solve the problem as well. So what we're going to do here is go to AMD's website because this has got an AMD GPU on it and we're going to be installing that on the system. Now if you've also got an Nvidia one you might want to do that as well and get that installed on the system. So I'm doing more than one thing at once here just because I'm remoted in and I'm just going to be installing and updating all this stuff that I've uh, been talking about in this video. So let this go ahead and install. You can see it's already found that the driver is outdated and I can go ahead and install the recommended version in this case and get this installed. This sometimes can uh, rectify the problem as well. So let's go ahead and uh, click on install here and get this updated uh, to the latest version here. It doesn't really matter whether there's a previous version installed on here it will just overwrite that and install it. Now if you're having problems then you may need to uninstall the old one and reinstall a new one as well. That's another option you've got here. Now another one I want to download is the Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Service Pack 1 version. This is another version that you can download and install. So just to make sure that we've got all of these installed and make sure it's not any of these that's causing the problem here. So I've already got the graphics driver installed in. I've got something else downloading here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, download this one and get this installed on the system. So let's hit the download button here and you can see it's given us some options here. I'm just going to tick these and get this downloaded. And this will bring one file down and you can then go ahead and install that on the system when that's downloaded. Let that just unpack and then it will go ahead and let me select install here. And you can see that's going in nicely. So we'll just let that finish off. Okay, so that's finished. And what we will need to do at this stage is we will need to reboot the computer at some point. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit restart here because we've put our graphics drivers on. Once we've rebooted the system, I want to go ahead and put all the uh, DirectX drivers on here as well. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this downloaded and installed as well. So we'll just let that initialize uh, these components and then it will get these installed. Now you'll see runtime uh, is another error message that I see uh, quite common. Uh, you get runtime errors and stuff like that and this can resolve a lot of these. So I'm just gonna let this uh, install by clicking next here and this will then start to install all these on the system and it doesn't take too long and it doesn't take up a lot of space that's so worth doing uh, just to make sure that we've uh, covered all the bases now once we've done this we can then copy those files that i've got into the right directory and i'll leave those on my website so you can download these and uh, you'll be able to copy them straight into the directory and uh, fix and resolve that issue so we'll just let this install we probably need to reboot as well now it's best to get all of these installed on the system and this will stop any sort of future uh, problems like little error codes that you may get popping up when you try to play certain games or run certain benchmarks like Heaven Valley Benchmark. Um, that, that's another one that will kick up an error code. And once you've got these all installed, uh, it should be good to go and you should have no problems. So that install is now done. And what I'm gonna do next is copy the files over from a trusted computer and install those onto this remote support uh, job here. So let me just quickly copy these files over to the remote machine and I'll put them into the directory where they need to go. So let me finish off here and I'll show you that part, how to do it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. But you need to make sure that these files are from a trusted source because if they're not, uh, you can end up getting infected. So these are the files here. I'm gonna copy these and I'm gonna put them into the C drive, Windows, and I'm going to come all the way down here to syswell and then 64 go in there and paste them just like so and uh, once that's done you should be able to click on that program and it should then start to open and install where we was getting the error code before we should now have uh, the installation popping up and it should work perfectly fine there we go that's now all working fine and you can now see we can now install uh, origin now also we will be able to run the heaven valley benchmark and you'll have no more problems with other issues uh, that kick up that same error code because we've installed just about everything we need to install on this system i'm just going to make a few settings here changes and then get this uh, continued and installed on the system and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can resolve that very common issue it's not that difficult to do, but it's always best to cover all the bases and that way uh, you don't have to go back and uh, try to fix the same problem later on down the road when they're trying to do something else. And that is also another way of fixing computers remotely on a remote connection, and that's using TeamViewer, as you can see here. You can remote into anyone around the world, friends and family, and resolve problems just like these ones on a remote connection. Even in the climate we're in today, we can still uh, fix and uh, resolve problems as long as they're software based and you can get access to that computer you can fix a lot of computer problems remotely just like this as long as it's not hardware based where we can't do anything because obviously we haven't got our hands on the PC itself but if it's something like this you'll be able to quickly easily troubleshoot diagnose and fix those problems and you can see Heaven Valley Benchmark is opening up perfectly fine and that's basically going to be about it for this video anyway i hope this one helps you out my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i will leave all the links in the video description for you so you can just go ahead and resolve this issue it's very easy to do now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos